Yeah, but moving move right along, moving right along. Yeah, we um we got this game built, so I'm going to actually crank up the fishing. We're in summer, so it's uh it's still I think we're doing fairly well on food. Yeah, we're okay with it, but you know I'd like to I'd like to start making some progress on it. Um, thinking about it, I should pause the blacksmith and. And also, uh, yeah, we got the wood covered paws. Um, I'll leave them to build the house and all that. Let's let's crank up the speed a bit. I think it's about time. Uh, as as we go along, but um, yeah, yeah. Like uh, anyway, the, the the guy who wrote um, the Martian, he he does remind me of Kim Stanley Robinson a bit, but minus the preachy message. Um, Kim Stanley Robinson is libertarian, and unfortunately, he really like on the one hand, I don't mind authors. Getting a little political uh, with with you know their topics and it's actually interesting. The problem is when the point of the book becomes being the message and and it's it's not a message that's interesting metaphorical. I, I don't know. It's it's difficult to explain. Like there's a fine line between you know um for instance like look at Avatar like the 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 movie Avatar to me and and you know I I. I'm honestly on my green party. I'm an environmentalist. Uh, um, I should have appreciated the message behind that movie, but I didn't because it was so just forcefully crammed down our throats. You know, it's like, oh, um, nature is good, humans are bad, and and I don't really agree with the, that sentiment. I think it's a little too. It, it's just a little bit too um, simplistic. I, I think that. Well, there's this great little philosophical notion, right? So, say you come across a spider, like a spider web, and there's a beautiful butterfly trapped in the spider web. What is the right thing to do? Do you break, bust up the spider web to release this beautiful butterfly, or do you um, let the spider have its meal? Uh, <laughs> and and it, you know, it's it's kind of like that with human beings. Do we do we say you know, oh, nature is this wonderful butterfly and we should preserve it at all costs, even at the sake of our own humanity and liberty. Or is there a balance that can be found? And and I think um, honestly, there is. There's there's a place for humans to to enjoy the good life and, and to not kind of be um, forced to take a step back from progress and make room for the environment. Um, it's just it's it's tricky, you know. There's there's obviously there's a lot um, there's a lot at stake from overconsumption, but I think that to kind of hinder scientific progress and to let's let's go ahead and remove this guy because we don't need him anymore, and and to hinder um, kind of our our march forward, it just. It isn't the way to go. One, because people aren't going to back up that idea. You know, people, you will never be able to sell to the American public or any any like modern modernized country the notion that um, you have to go back to subsistence agriculture because for the sake of the environment. One, it's actually that that'd be terrible for the environment because we wouldn't be able in order to make enough food on like a subsistence level. Um, human like humans would basically be forced to um, clear clear even more land. So that's that's one thing, like actually I point out, you know, people who are pro-environment but anti-GMO, like genetically modified crops and the like, that's that's a contradiction. If, if you want to preserve as much as, of the environment as you possibly can, you would support um, humans using more efficient cropland because the more efficient we can make cropland, the, the less, um, essentially, the, the less that we have to clear to feed ourselves. So, uh, I'm actually, I'm, I'm strangely in, in that space of being for, uh, you know, essentially agribusiness and all that, so long as it's done smartly. And I do think that there, there's things that we do that need to be fixed in agribusiness, but I also think that Essentially, all the modern discoveries that have improved agriculture and made it more efficient. Um, all of those things are. Ooh, it's already early winter. Why aren't these homes built or anything? Like, what? What are? What is going on here? Um, 
Okay, I think let's let's actually get more builders going. It, this is strange. Like normally, some of this stuff would be built. Um, people are getting cold too. That's really bad. I I wonder what is it. It must be this long walk that they're doing to get back here and get food. Ooh, not good. Not good. Yeah. Uh, well, we got a house built. That's good. At least one. We we need to get the others built and and before the really cold winter comes around. So um, they should be. I mean, they don't cost extra logs, do they? They do. Oh, that could be what's holding it back a bit. Yeah, because this would almost already be start building. Oh, well that's that's okay. I I do want these um, stone houses in sooner rather than later. It is starting to get cold though, and we still have a lot of homeless. Um. It's also this long walk back. It's the walk of shame right here is actually quite bad. Um, let's see, are we filling up on fish? No. What, what is going on with this? Okay. You made a, lot, a ton of fish. I guess they were putting it in... Yeah, they are putting it way back here. Um, oh, and then it, it, actually a lot of it probably got swiped. Yeah. It got swiped. So I think we're doing okay on fish, actually. We got, we got our Forester. Maybe I'll take the Forester out for now, actually. And have him help with building. Because we, we need to get these buildings built. I don't think we need logs immediately. Yeah, we really need to get some stuff built. Um, I almost think maybe I should cut back on the laborers, but... Why? We, we have Okay, that one's getting almost done. We have plenty of stone. These should, things should be done. <laughs> what is going on here? Uh, not good. Not good at all. Dude, these these might even take like more. Let's see, 45, 30. Yeah, they they just take more in general. So I, I might miscalculate with these. But you know, we we've uh, <laughs> we sown our seeds. Now we have to watch them grow. Um. But yeah, like I think that their like science and technology is honestly the only answer we have to our environmental woes, and um, to see it as the enemy is, you know, it's it's a it's bad of environmentalists to do that. So, uh, and that's the other thing, like nuclear power. If we had more nuclear power, we'd be burning less coal, you know. And yes. Don't get me wrong, um, the waste from nuclear power, it's, it can be bad, obviously. <laughs> obviously, it can be, right, yeah. Um, radiation kills, but I think if we picked safe places to store it, it, it wouldn't be too much of a concern. Like, I, I think burying it deep under the ground is fine. <laughs> I, I don't think it'll ever really become an issue, unless we make just way too much of it and we don't keep up with where to store it, but... Honestly, the public sphere of nuclear power is, it's misplaced. And it kind of developed from, from the environmentalist move, or the environmental movement. And uh, it's, it's a thing that I think, looking back, was silly for folks to worry about. And I kind of, wow, this is, why are they still, mm, build these? I got five builders. I need iron. We're not hurting for any of these resources. See, we got two iron there. We got four and 20. That, <laughs> four 20. Um, yeah, uh, and, and legalizing stuff, don't get go. Yeah, that's, I don't wanna really go. I don't wanna make this a too political thing, but it's like, I don't know. I feel like you can be kind of liberal with your economics and kind of conservative with, um, other things but <laughs> anyway let's see well we got the gathers hut built or I don't think we're hurting too badly on food actually yeah let's let's get going on some food I cut back on the builder a little bit but man oh man I'm flustered I, I'm surprised that I, I'm surprised that these stone houses ended up being such like a end up just taking like so long to get I mean we're nearly at year three 
Like, I didn't think they would be... If I had known that, I probably would have just built some wooden houses, but... Oh, well. I've, I've, dug, I've dug my hole, so... <laughs> um, at this point, there's, there's going back doesn't make much sense. Uh, well, yeah, I kind of... I need more of everything, but I definitely do want a little woodcutter going. Um, and I actually should have... Let's not do the woodcutter for... Mm. <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me. Uh, let's let's do the forester first, because I need to start getting some logs in. Even though we have a couple saved up, I think it's going to be a problem. If we start converting all that to firewood. Obviously, we're going to need firewood, but we'll, we'll worry about when we get closer to winter. I think with these wooden houses, once they're actually built... Seriously, it, it shouldn't... And none of this is gathered? I'm confused. I, I'm honestly like maybe let's let's tone back on builders and get more laborers attacking this stuff. So they're kind of idling and, and not. <laughs> maybe maybe they're upset that they all got banished along with me from Runny Mead. <laughs> this is their uh, their miniature rebellion, but they'll they'll come back in line. Uh, I hope. Otherwise, we're doomed all over again. <laughs> Gosh, th this should be taking so. Oh well, I I can like be perplexed by it. All the live long day or I can just like crank up the speed and see see how it goes so yeah starting over starting over it's it's fine <laughs> um, I, I honestly we're doing well with running mead and and then I got greedy and stupid <laughs> um, yeah the nomads were the mistake and I think without the nomads um, in the equation we, we would have slowly but see that's the thing like I, I wasn't thinking clearly with like I was kind of panicking about oh are we gonna get enough workers going is this going to um are we gonna miss out on these achievements because we're not growing fast enough blah 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 and I wasn't looking at kind of the overall picture where if you looked at the town hall our population was on track we just had to build slowly and not go all gung-ho about it so yeah mm. mistakes were made but I feel like feel like we'll recover eventually. This is bizarre. It's like they're not feel I should maybe follow one of these laborers see what they're doing because it's like honestly I'm baffled. It's like no progress is being made on any of this. I guess they were clearing out the bottom part first. I don't get it. We have a ton of supplies. We just need to get carried over here. And remove that one little bit. It's like they're not removing stuff. Okay, well, now that we have some more of those um, gathers, let's, let's crank up our fishermen. Just because, I mean, I want our food to grow. Okay, maybe it's because I queued up a ton of things right out the gate. And and they're kind of like putting it piecemeal. Let's, let's also go woodcutter. And maybe in, yeah. <laughs> Yeesh. Down to one layer and one builder. That's, that's not good. And I need these houses built so I can get kids. You know, I have one, but... Come on, guys. You're, you're gonna, like, all grow old and gray. <laughs> uh, that's a fear. You know, if you if you desire kids, um, and, like, you, you're not in a position to have them and you're getting older, you sh yeah, I, I would like to have some kids. I, I'm, I'm pretty good, like, I'm not gonna say I'm a good child raiser because I've never actually raised a child, but, um... I mean, I get along pretty well with kids, like, um, you know, I used to, like, we have cousins and family friends and stuff, and, you know, like, I kind of babysit them, and, I don't know, kids are fun. And I kind of like the, the idea, like, in my mind, at least, I think in order to grow as a person, you have to grow little people, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. We'll see. Well, maybe I'll see. Who knows? Do, do, do. Gathers hut is gathering. Good. Now that that's made, they'll they'll be better at their jobs. Um, it's weird. I like cut out the laborers, but it seems like more work is getting done now. <laughs> uh, still don't have any homes, and 
Mm. That's bad. That's going to really slow down our population. What is delaying this? It's frustrating because there's a ton of resources up here. And it's like they just don't, you know, they can't be bothered to, to go and drop them off. Um, I'm going to put a pause on this hunting cabin. And leave these homes up because they need to get built. Um, all right, the fuel max, that's good. Yeah, I, I'm flabbergasted. I don't get it. I mean, now we've we've cut down the labor, so I guess it makes some more sense, but... Let's, let's use our priority tool, because this is like the third winter. And we need to get, let's, let's get that one built because it's, um, and we don't get houses soon. I mean, the people can go and eat from like storage buildings and they can warm up from like visiting their neighbor's houses, I believe. So we haven't had any freezes or any like buddy dying, but they aren't going to breed. And, uh, this early in the game, yeah, see, I just, I guess they're just kind of like, yeah, they're like, I'm going to put a little bit here. I'm going to get a little bit there, and they're just kind of being nonchalant about it, and and now, see, we have, like, a tool crisis. It's, oh, uh, okay, and I'm going to increase this priority, too, so we can get that built. Okay, and, and see, they all moved in, and now they can't have kids. Um, so, we need to, we, we're desperate for houses. Um, I, I, I don't feel like the stone house was that big of a... A mistake because I mean we still have, look how much stone we still have it, it's just it's like they couldn't be bothered they're like oh, I, I you know I, I don't really I don't need a house who needs a house I can live in the woods <laughs> so hey that's no good um, it looks like now though they're they got their act together they just need strong tyrannical leadership to get them through <laughs> oh boy yeah we um uh, well, we're, we're moving along, you know, we're... Oh, and, and that mis the other mistake where I had it set... Oh, gosh, I'm so annoyed. That, that, like, maybe we would have been a little better off with our food if I hadn't, like, accidentally had this plant turned off on that one gatherer's node. Because that's, like, cutting out, like, a thousand food a year. Right there. Really dumb. And, and it was just, like, an honest mistake, you know? It's something that could have been avoided, but didn't end up... Um, being avoided. So, okay, so good. We're getting the blacksmith done. Hopefully, it's we're only three tools short. We might end up being a few more, but I'm pretty confident. Now I'm gonna have to pull from something, and I'm thinking I'll pull from the fishing. Uh, just because we're waiting for all the, all the little bat. We have no children. That's the issue. There's no homes, so we have no children. Ah, uh, and and look, people are getting older. Um. Like, I think when they hit 40, they can't have kids anymore. Like, they're too old. Um, goodness. So, let's see. I'm going to pause this one. We, we need homes. Um, and unfortunately, that one, it's, I guess, we have the stone, but I guess they, they don't care. <laughs> so, and then I'm going to prioritize getting this, this, and this, because... We're, we're facing, essentially, a housing crisis, so getting all that cleaned up. And, and then we'll unpause this home and also build it, but, you know, I figure a few quick wooden homes, and that'll solve this kind of, like, them not wanting to breed. Uh, what I'm worried about, though, is now that they're all moved in, they might not move into the new homes. And if that happens, well, we're going to have, like, a big population crunch where like most of our people die of old age. Um, so yeah, I guess don't put in, well, it's not so much that I, I have the wooden homes queued, it's that I had a lot of stuff queued and I should have like waited for them to build out one thing before moving on to the next or use the priority tool sooner. But now these are getting built, good. People are moving out. No, they're not moving out of there. Um, yeah, this could be bad. Um, this, this could be an issue because there's there's really nothing I can do about um, about that uh, unfortunately I would I would 
love to get some more labors, but we're not going to get any more until the kids grow up. And honestly, like we, we might we might just lost a game there with everyone living in just these two houses or this this yeah these two houses. Um, I'm hopeful that they'll start to move out and kind of spread out a bit, but if they don't, like, see, already they're getting up there, and they might not have time to have a kid. <laughs> Gosh. That, that'd be a pain. Well, if that, if that does happen, um, I won't put this recording out, and we'll just redo it. <laughs> um, because I don't want you guys to have to go through another failed town. Um, I, I want this one to actually work out, so... How are we doing? Uh, we're doing pretty well on our supplies, so I'm going to actually unpause this house. Have our laborers have a task they can actually work on. And, you know, why not want to get more fishing going on? Let's, let's go ahead and actually we'll wait till the house is built, then we'll get work on these. And we can build this house. That will, we'll, we're going to have to prioritize and, and wait. Let them build one thing at a time. So, this one's coming along. Yep, we're, um, we've got one child. Wow. Hopefully these guys can get one kid. And these guys can have one more. Um, these guys need to kind of... I need more houses in this area anyway, so let's, let's do that. Let's put in... I'm just going to put in a couple more wooden houses. Um, we'll do like three and then... We'll do like a little kind of circle here. And yeah, I also, um, I'd like to play the Colonial Charter mod at some point. And when I do that one, I'm gonna be, it's a lot more forgiving on like resources and all that. Cause you can just explode on resources. Um, okay, let's, uh, I kind of want to crank up the builders, but uh, I guess I'm going to have to wait on it. Okay, good. Now, now that we have these homes, it looks like it's, it looks like they're they're not going to move out, but it looks like people are having some kids. So, but yeah, yeah, I'll wait until like year f three or four for that. Was I'm shocked actually that we. We didn't see like a freezing death or something, but you know it's coming along. And we're, we're wow, yeah, we, we definitely are doing well on food right now, just from this guy. Um, I almost want to like tone down the gathers for a bit, but eh, having a lot of food is good because these houses, as they get built, are going to steal from there, and they'll they'll help with the storage being that full. Plus, we still have some storage here, and. A lot of food. So once we get the home, homing situ, the housing crisis sorted, uh, hopefully more people will start to, to move out. Ninety-eight percent. Come on. Um, maybe I'll up the priority again. Okay. No, we we got this built. Yeah. Good. They're they're starting to spread out a little, which is awesome. Yeah, okay, and, and they're still young enough that I think some of these couples, now now we're going to start cranking out the kids, so. And that should have helped out with the, the storage being, eh, it didn't, really. We, we just need more mouths. <laughs> we have the opposite problem that we had last time. We need more mouths to feed because one thing that can happen is if all your storage fills up, um, it kind of messes you up pretty bad because there's there's no place to put food. So gatherers just convert to laborers at that point. They're, you know, they, th they throw up their hands and say, if you're not going to give us proper warehouse facilities that are up to code, I'm not doing the work. And uh, yeah, they, uh, they end up um, kind of just not doing anything. And it, it's almost as bad as... Uh, and, and it gets really bad if, say, you're making... Um, it doesn't really happen in the base game, but... Again, going back to mods, like in Colonial Charter, if you're, if you're like growing, say, bamboo, um, and you're using that to make fire, because you can kind of take the bamboo and, and wrap it up into what's called fire bundle, and that works like firewood. Okay, good. Blacksmith, let's get going on that. Kind of fixes tools issue. 
I'm okay with the tools being bad right now since, I mean, we have so much food stored. And this is actually, look, you can watch it climb. That's crazy. Um, it's kind of cool, but it's also a little bit, a little bit nuts. Um, how are we doing on, what is up with the buildings? It's like, I guess, yeah, we have one laborer and one builder, but he should be dumping some of the logs and stuff off. I'm so confused by this. It's, it's, it's not a bug. It's just, I think our, our one laborer must be idling a lot because there isn't much happiness right now. No, this happiness is fine. I, I don't know. It's kind of bizarre to me. But anyway, the blacksmith is going to start pulling us ahead on some tool use. And see, uh, yeah, we're already doing way better on stored firewood than we were in the first playthrough, and that's because of the stone houses. I definitely want to have, like, a couple of those going on. In fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just unpause all of this, because I would like to get it in. Get going on more fishing. And I think early on, we're just gonna have little, kind of, almost a fishing town. As opposed to building out a ton of these gather nodes. Alright, and now we're also, I start thinking about getting some clothes, because our stored stuff is gone. And... We're, it looks like we're starting to have some kids being born, so that's something we want to handle now rather than later. Uh, good, got fishing going on. Um, I'm going to bust this up and kind of move it somewhere else. We'll, we'll figure out where. But it's kind of... That's the other thing, too. Like The storage is just sitting there and, and not getting handled. And I think that means that for now, until that gets moved by a laborer, it won't, um, actually, let's not, I'm gonna shut off work there so that all our fishers are still in the, in here, until we get storage. Once we get a storage barn, then it's fine. But for now, we want to think about them being most efficient, as opposed to having to walk all the way down here and drop off and all the way back. So, I mean, yeah, we're moving along pretty swimmingly. I'm a little bit concerned about our log production, but honestly, um, I guess one thing we could do is kind of pull pull back a gatherer or two and have them work on. Let's do that. We're actually making too much food. <laughs> so, if we have these guys focus more on log production and kind of clearing this land of any remaining stone, that would be a good thing. Um... Still, yeah, it seems like we're waiting on logs. I, I wonder, it might be worth sort of cutting, finding a little place I can cut some trees down. Like maybe up here. It needs to be a little bit close to the settlement, but not not too far away. I unpause that too. Yeah, see, that's, that's what's holding it up, I think, is we need more trees. And if we're going to get more trees, we need more laborers, so... Uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of, it's gonna be slow progress, I think. It's okay, though. We have enough houses built. Um, well, we could use one more. One or two more, I think. Yeah, because see, we got that labor over here, and this fisherman over, well, let's see, female. Female. I guess they couldn't have kids. Um. Yeah, that might be the issue too. Like we, we have like way more uh, females and males, and it's kind of just a you know random thing that happens sometimes. <laughs> We're back up in tools. Uh, this is coming along pretty well. I think though, honestly, at this point we just have to wait and let our population grow a bit. So I'm gonna call this an episode, and I I, I hope you guys don't mind us having to restart. Um, I I know it'll probably be. Like, there, there's going to be a couple folks who are a little bit annoyed slash upset that had to happen. But honestly, I, I think you'd rather see a fresh start than uh, me struggling for, uh, like, an hour and a half to two hours to kind of fix a fairly hopeless situation. Is it impossible to, like, completely recover from where we were? No. And I think, um, I think that might be an interesting little episode to work on at some point is like I go back <laughs> I reconquer uh, Ronnie Mead and uh, essentially fix all the issues with it. Let's just put the tail on there. 
It's a little bit far, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, because I'm gonna I'm basically plan on having a market here until he'll draw his goods from the market. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, yeah, I might do like a special episode uh, at some point where I see if I can fix it, just to show you how you can recover from when you get stuck that way. But I don't think I'm going to do that um, anytime. Are they? Why are they walking over here? They better be walking over here. Okay, they're dropping off stuff. That's good. Um, but I, you know, that'll be like a one-off kind of like thing where I explain what I did, maybe like a five-minute short video. So um, anyway, it's a. Uh, I think though it'll, it'll be kind of more fun for us if we just kind of take our lumps and. Uh, Go move on <laughs> from it and try a different one. So, I, I think this is a really solid start, and I'm quite pleased with our little town of Rubicon. So, uh, yep, yeah, yeah. Oh, and, and the history of Rubicon, it's, um, you know, uh, I'm sure some folks know this, but some people don't. Uh, why is the Rubicon significant? Well, uh, maybe, actually, I'll save that, I'll save that for next episode. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that. So, uh, uh, yeah, we look forward to it. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks for tuning in, and yeah, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Um, I, I I'm working on getting a button. I I'm really just kind of like still new to YouTube, uh, so I need to just sit down and like watch a video on how to do it. <laughs> so we'll, we'll I'll, I'll have like a whole bunch of little fancy. Eventually, I want this to be like a, a professional. <laughs> Uh, like, like with good editing on the videos and um, and all that, but for now, it's, I'm just gonna like put videos out as much as I can. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> anyway, I'll uh, I'll catch you guys later, huh? Peace out.